Hi, I'm Karan Shade from Cisco Systems. In this video, we will test and measure the impact on the battery life of your mobile device when connected to a 802.11 AC radio over a 802.11 N radio. For this test, we will use a Samsung Galaxy S4 with an active FTP download to measure the drop in battery charge. Since we are measuring the impact on the battery life of a phone when connected to a Wi-Fi network, we have disabled background sync on the phone. And in addition, we have switched off the cellular service along with Bluetooth. On the left hand side of your video screen, we have a Samsung Galaxy S4 connected to Cisco AP3600 at 802.11n data rates. Whereas on the right hand side of your video screen, the same phone is connected to Cisco's latest 11ac module, which fits right inside your Cisco 3600 access point. A quick note that the test on these two radios were executed independently using the same phone. And to maintain consistency, phones were charged to full capacity before initiating FTP download. Now let's go ahead and start the file transfer. Right off the bat, you will notice that 11ac data rate is allowing our Galaxy S4 to download the file at twice the speed compared to the same phone when connected at 11N data rates. In other words, 11AC requires 50% less time to complete the download and quickly free up your wireless bandwidth for other users in your network. Now let's fast forward the test at a six minute mark to check the status of a file transfer. You can see our mobile device with 11AC data rate is near the finish line and has downloaded 96% of the file. On the other hand, the same phone with 11N data rate in the same amount of time has barely downloaded only 48% of the total file and has another six minutes to finish the complete file transfer. Our 11AC test has completed the download with a total of 2% drop in battery charge. 11N has also dropped the charge by 2%, but it has another 50% of download to complete. Now let's fast forward the remaining file transfer of our 11N mobile device and measure the total battery charge drop at the end of file transfer. After 12 minutes and 54 seconds, file transfer for mobile device with 11N data rate has finally completed. Also notice the drop in battery charge at end of file transfer when using 11N data rate is 4%. Whereas for the same amount of data transfer when using 11AC data rate, it is only 2%. Based on our test, we can easily conclude that 11AC improves the battery life of your mobile device by 50% in comparison to 11N. Thank you for watching.